dry by the feel of it. Only been in the water for about five minutes. But I haven't got it in. I haven't got it in yet, but I think it's gonna stay on. Please stay on. Please stay on. Yeah, here comes one. Nice. Here we are. Oh, that's a nice fish. Look at that, guys. That's only been in the water five minutes, or well, maybe ten. And there is our first carloi. Look at that. Nice fish. Okay. Look at that, beautiful, and that's how you do it man, that's how you catch them, just like that, see, nice, right, we'll just lead them, Been there for a while now, I've only got one that first Kahawai. I've had nothing since then. Tide's coming in. I don't know what's going on, but I've only seen one other fish getting caught since I've been here. I mean two fish being caught and but that was like ages ago now. So not sure what's going on. So way out there we have White Island our active marine volcano and it's puffing away quite nicely as you can see this is as far as my camera zooms in this camera here anyway but it's about 40 something miles away it's smoking quite nicely which is good white island or a Maori word for it is whakari you guys pronounce that yep well there it is Well, everybody around us is all buggered off. I'm the last guy here that's still fishing, so I can still sit here and watch my two rods. So I thought, uh, while we're here, I might as well answer some of your, you guys, uh, your questions that you sent me in my last video. Um, so I'll answer some of those for you now, in between me catching some fish, which I, think's, I think I might only have the one for the day. Anyway, so I'm going to answer some of you guys' questions. A lot of you guys just said, um, we've got no questions to ask, just keep up the good videos. So thank you to you guys for for watching, watching my videos and I'm uh, glad you like them. Anyway, here's a question from Mox Alicia. Alicia says, what do you do for a job? Well, the answer to that one is, at the moment, I'm just doing YouTube videos. I finished my job about six weeks ago because I get quite bad chronic fatigue. I get tired, um, you get really tired really easily. So I struggle with work. I was working as a lifeguard at local pools for a while, but that job made me quite sick from the environment. Uh, the building was a bit of a lemon and it still is. I got sick from there, got diagnosed with being sick from there and ever since then I've been struggling with my health. If it wasn't for me not working these last few weeks I wouldn't be able to post as many videos as I do. So at the moment uh, Mox I am a YouTuber. 
This is from Super Marksman 33. I'm still watching my rods. Bro, you rock the film crew t-shirt a lot. Are you a post-production or film pro? Your vids are very cool regardless. Cheers. Uh, thank you, Super Marksman 33. Well, I made a, I got a lot of t-shirts printed up and sweatshirts about four years ago. I was doing event filming and filming the events and some sports and also doing a few web videos for people. I'm a self-taught videographer. Learned a lot off YouTube and Google. Had a keenness to do it. Um, into this sort of to filming years ago and thanks to YouTube I've learned to pick up some good skills and I am enjoying doing it so those are just some old t-shirts that I had I've got about six or seven of those and about four or five sweet shirts so I wear those every day and I'm only a film crew of one me plus my dog but she doesn't wear t-shirts so I'm getting some more shirts printed up soon I haven't done it yet but I intend to get some printed up, so if you guys uh, want a t-shirt, just let me know. It wouldn't be one half from Corona though, it'll be just um, maybe my logo from my, my YouTube channel be up, be up there. We could digital media on the back or something like that anyway, so. Thanks for that one. Um, this is from Sam, Sam Markman. He asks, I know you catch a lot of kahawai, but what is your favourite fish to eat? I really enjoy gurnard, says Sam. Well, I think my favourite fish to eat would have to be... I love eating flounder. Would be my favourite. I love flounder. It's just, um, yeah, it's just a really tasty fish. I love salmon. But we don't get salmon here at all. Unless you buy it from the shop. Yeah, I like gurnard. Gurnard's really nice. Snap is overrated, but it's all right. But I do enjoy kahawai. It's is it's, yeah, that's the um, that's the most fish that I catch is the gurnard. But I mean, uh, I yeah, sorry, the kahawai is the most fish that I catch. So as long as you can spice spice it up a little bit with your kahawai, even your snapper, bring some nice flavours out in it. This question, Toby Jazz to hiring uh, Douglas. Uh, what iwi are you from? I affiliate mostly to Tuhoi here and my dad is a Dutchman so I'm Ngati Netherlands as well Ngati Netherlands and Tuhoi is what I affiliate to uh, Outdoors New Zealand Do you get into a bit of hunting bro? Uh, that question is no I don't at the moment I used to when I was younger, but I haven't got into it since. Uh, yeah, AW also asked about my what's with the film crew t-shirts. Looks quite cool when you're walking around with those on. People ask, um, what film crew do you work for? It's one I'd walk in at. Still got no bites on my rod, which is good. I can answer all you guys' questions. This one from Peter Goodwin, it's not a question. Peter Goodwin from Australia. After seeing that fish, I'm starving now. Apparently I, I cook up nice food. Make you guys hungry. No question, but your videos are great. I don't worry about watching TV anymore because no matter what's on, it's boring. And the cooking you do is just fantastic. Great stuff, mate. Thank you, Pete. Always enjoy reading your comments. Um, next question is from Ruta Tuoro. Uh, Ruta, I have a question. I love watching your videos and actually made the raw fish you made a couple of months ago. What made you start your own YouTube channel and how? Uh, I started my YouTube channel back in 2010. I wish they would have it 
wish I'd had YouTube back when I was young, fella. Because back doing videos in the 90s, you couldn't show your your stuff to anybody unless you show it to a producer. Whereas YouTube's just a great place for you to to do upload what you want to, and you can edit how you want to. It's your own creativity that you're um, making your own stuff. So I love videoing. I love YouTube. I love editing, I enjoy all, uh, I love um, the way that people watch videos from all over the world. You know, every given month I get 200 and something countries watch my videos, which is, which is unbelievable. More than you'll get, uh, you know, anywhere else, even on TV as well. Uh, I love my YouTube. Uh, I used to put up just videos with music and go out and video stuff from around my local area but um, since I began to the vlogs I've been talking from the camera a bit more so it's actually cheaper to buy your gear and learn off Google and YouTube than this to go and do a course somewhere and how to do it if an old follower like me can learn how to do it by watching videos anybody can do it and there's so much to learn I'm still learning myself about video so I'm going to you know start do some videos you know it's you know oh yeah buddy fishing's rubbish today well apart from that one fish next question is from two humping do you get monetized as I see two to three ads per link I hope so what or how do I find your Patreon account if you have one? Last question, I think you're 53 years old, at a guess. 53? I'm not that old yet, man. Get in there, but not 53. Must be the camera showing my wrinkles up. Uh, yes, my videos are monetized, have been for a while. Uh, the longer videos, I put two or three ads up, so make sure that you guys Watch the ads, click on the ads, that helps me get paid a bit more. It doesn't get paid very much, but it's all done on volume. More more views you get, a bit more money you get. So, yeah, so make sure you guys watch the ads. It really, really helps me out a lot. From putting one ad up to putting three up, it's just probably doubled my money. So, at the moment, that's what I'm living on, is my Google AdSense. I've got a few affiliate links uh, below my videos, but so far I've made nothing of those. So if you guys want to buy anything on those links, like a camera or cameras that I use, make sure you buy through Amazon and I get paid a little bit of money from each of that. So AdSense plus some of that will be, it will be quite good so I can get out here and do more videos for you guys. It's Two Humping, that's a cool name. Um, Rob. Karepa should do an alien video, bro. Yeah, well, that's one of my uh, to-do video lists. I haven't done it yet, but I've been thinking about it for ages. But I still will do it, hopefully, soon. What tips do you have? This is from Steve Two Dogs. How you going, Steve Two Dogs? What tips do you have for starting a YouTube channel? Well, it's pretty easy. Just get your camera. You can use your phone. You can go out and just video stuff. Whatever you like doing. And put videos up. Just the editing and it's probably the hardest part and the music and stuff. And But, you know, you already have a YouTube account. So, yeah, phones are good. You can use anything really, you know. Cameras are so cheap these days. Easy to go and film, film stuff. You know, just film what you like doing. And if, um, there's always some niche out there that people people like, such as what I'm doing now with these um, catch and cook vlogs. This is from Black. Bro, can you do a live stream Q and A? Yeah, that's on my to do list, but I find it quite hard to sit in front of a camera and. Uh, People can ask me some questions, so, but yeah, for sure. Um, which 
just got a bit flat, but I've got a new battery, uh, battery already charged up. Um, from Buea Basin, over in the States. Thanks for the updates on the videos. What is the best fish you ever tried? As I said, I love flounder. Flounder is so nice, got a really nice flavour to it. My best eating fish found it. I also eat salmon. If we could catch salmon here, I would go and catch them. I just love salmon. This one from Feed the Farno. Cheer, bro. Another mean video, mean score on the sinker. That stuff is dear here in Gisborne. My question what's the best place in New Zealand you fished or dived at? Well, my favourite place, apart from fishing around here, would be at the Motu River. It's the Fortikaha there, I love them all too. I try and get there from time to time. And diving's up there is awesome up as well. Tikaha, I love diving up here. Anywhere to dive where there's not many people that go. You go in the water because there's a lot more, a lot more kaimo under it. But there's people not around. But I love them all too, yeah. Um, this one is from Mario Rabotini. One of my, the good buggers that helped me out on my channel, he um, helped me out a bit last month and I really appreciate you helping me out Mario. Um, you know, helped me to get a few things which has been handy for my channel, I really appreciate that. And he likes, uh, are you like with the Weber barbecues? Um, I just want to know how many times do you add hickory wood chips to your Weber when you're smoking a two kilo chook and how long do you wait between each handful of wood chips? That would be really helpful. Again, thank you for all your hard work. Best channel on YouTube. Thanks Mario. Well, I had to change my battery on that last question from Mario, so... Uh, well, uh, wood chips, I, yeah, I love using hickory. Hickory is probably the one that you can add a, add a bit to without overpowering your food. But I probably, I, I like to have a continuous smoke on my Weber coming out most of the time. Uh, uh, hickory has got a really good flavour to it, as, as you know. So, yeah, I just probably add a handful Maybe every half an hour or so throughout the cook. We have uh, wood here called Putakawa. Now that's quite a Putakawa is quite a um, strong, strong smoking wood. So with that one there, I wouldn't add much at all. So and Manuka is quite strong as well. But hickory, I think you can't overdo it with hickory on your food. So yeah, I'll probably just use a handful, a handful of. Uh, wood chips every half an hour just as long as there's still smoke coming out of the vents you know because it's really as you know it's a beautiful flavor yeah I, I, love, I love using hickory so I hope that answered your question that one Mario it's just trial and error really yeah um, this one from Jason Williams is Puha is Puha the same plant in Australia is it in New Zealand and yep it's the same plant when I was living in Australia I would, I would go and get uh, the puha from around where I was working and stuff and it was yeah, exactly the same so uh, yeah eat it it's nice it's just some sort of uh, what is it the milk thistle you just google it and you'll uh, find you find out on that one still no bunny bites on my rods so after this I'm going to pull my rods in and go home. Right, next question is from... This is one of the bros, I think you're from Hawaii, yeah? I just, just got a... 50... 50th... STAO... Oh, state of mind, that's what it is. 50 state of mind. Oh, I didn't just notice that. Who taught you how to cook? Because they did a great job on all your vids. Because of hunger, been watching your kitchen cooks. K 
keep up the great work. Well, for that one there, I was probably took by my mum when I was younger, and plus living in Australia, you know, when you're living with fat mates, you go cook your own food or you starve. But most of my cooking, I always had a passion for cooking. I was going to be a chef when I was younger, but I didn't didn't go and do an apprenticeship. That was with Cobb and Co back in the 80s. Um, I just love cooking, and it's probably just yeah, it's, you know, it's just um, yeah, you just have passion for it. I think so. And I enjoy cooking. I like seeing people that write comments like Caleb. How inspire them to get out and do stuff. You know, you guys inspire me to get and carry on doing stuff too. When you give me good comments, you know, I didn't, I don't haven't fished this much in ages. You know, when I go out once or twice a week, sometimes more, I get nothing at all. I can't put those videos up, but you know. Uh, this one's from Mike L S. I know you watch Coastal Foraging with Craig on YouTube. Any other channels you enjoy watching? Oh, and any message for those who don't like the sound of you enjoying the feed? Well, people don't enjoy me. People who don't enjoy hearing me make that sound can get stuffed. I don't care. You always got your negative people on YouTube. Keyboard warriors. You get used to it after a while. I don't get many negative comments anymore. Uh, normally I just ban it from my uh, watching my, my channel. Uh, other channels I like watching, I like watching Clay Tall Stories. He's a hunter down the South Island. Pig hunter, fisherman, old fellow like me. Loves cooking, loves cooking kai as well. Loves gathering food, cooking, eating it. I love watching World War II documentaries. Uh, I love watching fishing, um, fishing ones. Um, actually, I watch a lot of stuff on YouTube. A lot of old series from the 70s. I watch a lot of guys that go um, in the bush and, you know, get with the tents and cooking up, cooking up food on the fireplaces and stuff. You know, that stuff's quite, quite relaxing. Um, there's one called Zach. Um, oh, there's a couple of guys in, this, in America, like watching Bill Gowdy, watching his stuff. He's just guys that um, like getting out there doing things, you know, and having, having fun, basically. Um, this one's from Mike Edwards. Hey Mike, you got a cool name. Hi, any chance you could show how you debone your salmon before you smoke them, Mike. Uh, well, my kahawai or Aussie salmon is the one. I don't. I just split them in half and I keep the bone on them. I don't take the bone out. I think the bone adds a bit of moisture to your fish when you're smoking it, and nothing's. I think I like more than sucking on the bones. Right. Let's another look. I might have to finish this soon because it's. It's going to be a really long video this one, I might have to put four or five ads on this video. Might do a couple more and I'll get back to the other ones later. Um, um, views on weight bait stocks. This is from Willie Wilson. Yeah well this river here we are fishing today, the weight bait here has been pretty hammered. If you've seen some previous videos. Um, it's just yeah, it's just getting worse every year, or for me anyway. A lot of guys don't catch as much as they used to. Doesn't help when they've got stock banks full of rocks and not any, putting anything else, put anything else there in the way, and let's put rocks there, and there's no way for the inanga white bait to to uh, grow the eggs on, lay the eggs. The South Island guys are still slaying it down there, but for how long, I don't know. I think we have probably better, better breeding grounds there than we do around here anyway. So, I think this year I might not go as much white baiting, I might do more fishing this season. Seeing as you love, this is from May Brown. Seeing as you love your boil ups and fish, which do you prefer most? Lol. 
love your videos. Thanks, May Brown. I think I love boiled ups more. But I also love fish. But I think I love boiled ups. Love my boiled ups. Kuko and watercress. Love them both. Debbie Wilson, always good fishing to watch. Um, do you get the bones out when it's cooked before eating? I've not had fish heads before and now keen to try them. Um, I just suck the meat off the bones. You can boil it up so much that the meat just basically falls off the bones so there's no problem with um, spitting bones out. Probably uh, fish like trout would be harder but these videos on YouTube would show you how to you can fill the pin bones out of trout and stuff or pull them out hope that answers your question yes. um, that's probably about it actually all the questions I've got or answered most of them I hope so I'm gonna pull my two rods in I'm gonna pick up my rods and get, get out of here had enough Fishing's gone dead. The tide's still coming in, but yeah, it's enough. So we'll catch you guys later. Just guy.